Welcome to Next Gen Cloud Computing. Master Linux and Cloud Skill for free. Excited to see the new Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10. The future of enterprise operating systems is here. As of January 10, 2025, Red Hat has unveiled the beta version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10, marking a significant leap forward with groundbreaking enhancements and cutting edge features. This release introduces improvements across performance, security, hardware support, and system usability compared to Arhel 9. Below is an overview of the key new features and modifications that make Hell 10 a game changer. Hell 10 Beta is based on the Linux kernel 6.11, marking a significant advancement over the 5.14 kernel utilized in Hell 9. The Linux 6.x series introduces improved I.O. performance, particularly for high throughput devices, thanks to enhancements in the block layer and file systems. Optimized memory management techniques like proactive reclaim and better slab memory allocation reduce system latency under load. Security features include shadow stack support, which provides hardware enforced protection against return oriented programming attacks, improving stack integrity. Landlock LSM enhancements offer expanded support for sandboxing applications with more flexible rules. Memory tagging integrates with ARM's memory tagging extension, helping debug and prevent memory related issues. In terms of hardware support, there are improved drivers for modern GPUs, NICs, and storage devices, including NVIDIA, Intel XE, and AMD GPUs. There's enhanced support for upcoming ARM and RISC-V architectures, aligning with the trend toward diverse compute platforms. Additionally, RTL10 expands support for Intel's 13th and 14th generation processors and AMD EPYC 4th generation chips. File system updates include BTRFS improvements, which provide more stable RAID 536 support and faster compression algorithms like ZTD. XFS updates enhance scalability and better metadata handling, allowing smoother operations for large file systems. RTL10 beta includes the GCC 14.2 compiler stack along with Gleb C 2.39 and Benutils 2.41. The GCC 14.2 introduces new language standards, support for C++23, and advancements in C2X for modern application development. Performance improvements include optimized loop handling and faster code generation, resulting in better runtime efficiency. Extended architecture support enhances optimizations for x86-64 v3, ARM, and RISC-EV, leveraging their specific instruction sets. Static analysis improvements provide more robust warnings and diagnostics to help identify potential bugs earlier. GLYBC 2.39 enhances support for threading and synchronization primitives, making applications more robust under concurrent workloads. It also improves compatibility with internationalization libraries and locale management for globalized applications along with faster execution of commonly used LIBC functions. Binutils 241 supports link time optimization across architectures, offers better debugging tools like objdump and redelf to inspect binaries with more granular detail, and improves compatibility with ELF extensions for modern operating systems. The in-place kernel upgrade feature in RHL 10 beta represents a significant advancement in minimizing system downtime. With this feature, kernel updates can be applied without requiring a system reboot, ensuring continuous availability and enhanced efficiency for enterprise workloads. RShell leverages its kpatch framework, which allows you to apply patches to the running kernel dynamically. These patches include critical updates, such as security fixes or performance improvements, without disrupting active processes. When an update is initiated, only the relevant portions of the kernel code are replaced. This modular approach minimizes the impact on system operations and resources. Updates are delivered via the standard YUM or DNF package managers. Once a kernel update is available, it can be applied using the command sudo dnf update security live patch. No reboot is required and the system continues running without interruption. 
After applying the update, RHL ensures the kernel's integrity by verifying the patch's compatibility. If issues arise, you can roll back the patch dynamically without rebooting. This feature maximizes uptime, making it ideal for environments where downtime is costly or unacceptable, such as financial systems, e-commerce platforms, or mission-critical applications. It maintains availability during business hours or critical operations. Additionally, it allows for quickly applying security patches to address vulnerabilities without waiting for a maintenance window, reducing the risk exposure between discovering and patching vulnerabilities. IT administrators no longer need to coordinate downtime or reboot schedules for kernel updates, streamlining patch management processes, especially in large-scale deployments. The installation environment has transitioned from Xorg to Wayland, offering a more modern and secure graphical setup experience. During installation, newly created users are granted administrative privileges by default, streamlining the setup process. RDP support has replaced VNC for graphical remote access, providing a more seamless and efficient remote desktop experience. The traditional IFCFG format for network configuration files is no longer supported, necessitating the adoption of the new key format for network setups. Notable software versions include Python 3.12, PHP 8.3, Perl 5.40, Ruby 3.3, Node.js 22, Git 2.45, MySQL 8.4, PostgreSQL 16, and MariaDB 10.11, ensuring access to the latest features and security improvements. RHL 10 has moved away from modularity as the packaging technology for application streams, simplifying software management. Pulse Audio has been removed in favor of Pipewire, offering improved audio handling and integration. The Firefox web browser is not included by default. Users can install it via Flatpak if needed. The ComposeFS file system is available as a technology preview, potentially enhancing container image storage and management. Support for GFS2 file systems has been discontinued, requiring users to consider alternative solutions. As a technical preview, RHEL 10 includes support for AMD Secure Encrypted Virtualization, SEV, SEVES, and SEVSNP, and KVM Virtual Machines, enhancing virtualization security. Name my container, DNGNX and it can integrate seamlessly with Kubernetes. Podman is lightweight and flexible, with a minimal system footprint and no central daemon process. And it is built for the enterprise, fully supported in RHL, with extensive documentation and community backing. Thank you for watching. Share, like, and subscribe.